Today's episode is on the backhand slice. I recently did a one minute tip on the swing path of the backhand slice. Today I'm gonna to get way more in depth. We're gonna talk about the grip, how to set the wrist, the different kind of slices to use, the inside out slice, the outside to in slice, when you use the slice and why you use the slice. Hopefully after today's episode, you'll have a new tool in your toolkit for not only mixing it up, but also being offensive with your slice. All right, we're back at my home office now. Um, I just got done hitting some slices inside. I wanted to come inside and uh, really get in depth on, on some of the key concepts on the slice that maybe you haven't heard before. And I wanna really talk about the three types of slices that there are. There's the regular slice, the straight line slice, where you come up the back of the ball, but there's two other slices you need to know. And that's the outside edge slice and the inside edge slice, where you learn to get on the outside of the ball and curve it right for a righty, and the inside edge where you learn how to curve the ball to the left. So let's take a look at the slices that we hit today. The first one is the straight line slice. And some keys here are just noticing how my left hand sets the racket behind my head. It gets my wrist set. The racket face is right behind my head, and you can see here that my racket is coming down and across, just like we talked about in the one minute pro tip. The racket path comes down and across. The other thing to look at is my left hand. My left hand is keeping me sideways. It's keeping me from opening up. Um, it's really important to use that left hand to set your grip, get your continental grip, set your wrist, but also keep you sideways. You can also tell on these that my contact is a little bit further back than a regular topspin backhand. So that helps me to stay sideways and not open up. All right, we're gonna take a look at the outside edge or high slice. I would use this shot when I get pushed back in the court. If I'm back three feet behind the baseline out wide, I wanna always take that ball cross court. The reason is, is that if I play this ball down the line, I'm way too far out of position. By going cross court, I only need a couple of steps to get back to ready position. So there you can see I'm getting on the outside of the ball. The other reason I need to get on the outside of the ball here is that my opponent's gonna be looking to hit a forehand here. When they see me set up for this slice, they're gonna take three or four steps left and they're gonna be looking to hit a forehand as much as possible. So by getting on the outside and curving the ball to the right, I can assure that I'm gonna get the ball to curve off to their backhand. Really important concept here and you'll see when we put the camera on the other side of the court you'll see that the ball after it lands it's gonna curve to the right about two or three feet so this is the outside edge slice boom and there you go the ball lands and it's curving off to the right right towards the corner of the two tarps all right the next one is the inside edge or the low slice I would use this shot if the ball was more inside the court, where, where I'm not you know, so urgent to get back to ready position right, right next to me. If I take this ball when I'm inside the court down the line, I can come into the net. And now I wanna be on that side of the court covering the down the line. Whereas when I'm on the baseline, I wanna cover the cross court. So if the ball is, is short enough, I'll use this inside edge or low slice and I'll curve the ball from right to left and then I'll come in behind it. I can also stay back but typically when I go down the line on a shorter ball, I'd want to come in on it. So here we go. Same setup, except the ball's a little lower and now I'm coming on the inside and I'm curving the ball from the right to left this time. You can see the setup's all the same. It's hard to tell right here, but it's just letting that wrist kind of come more from the inside. It's kind of like hitting a, hitting a slice versus a hook in golf. You know, this would be like a left-handed slice. So boom, there's that low ball. I come on the inside and I curve that ball off the court. I would definitely be coming into the net off of that ball. All right, so now you can see that the slice is not a defensive shot. The slice is a powerful tool that you can use in singles. You can use it in doubles. You use it to get out of trouble and you use it to mix it up and to keep your opponent off balance. So I hope you enjoyed these tips and we'll be back with more sliced videos in the future.